Freaky. I wonder if the fact that there was going to be a Friday the 13th, a day, not a movie, in 2020, helped Universal with its decision to greenlight this film, or if it at least helped with the decision to incorporate the day into the movie, if Universal thought that by releasing the movie on the day, they were guaranteed a huge audience, though, well, that's one of the many things that should have happened but didn't, thanks to the pandemic. I mean, hardly any theaters are open at the moment. I was lucky in that Orange County, where I've been spending most of this time period, had theaters open again, at least with limited capacity, for a couple of months this fall, and I was happy to put on my mask and go check out a lot of stuff. But now they're closed again. I really wanted to watch Freaky, though, so I was lucky in that there was a drive-in theater not too far away. It was showing it. I went there and, oh my god, I'm so glad I did, and not just because the movie only cost $10. It was easily worth twice as much. And... It's in very exclusive company. I can uh, rattle off just two movies in all of history which worked as a comedy, a horror film, and a drama. Shaun of the Dead and Freaky. And Freaky is better. The plot is that there is a really sadistic, creepy, serial killer offing local teenagers. But one would-be victim whom he stabs with a haunted dagger winds up switching bodies with him. And she has 24 hours to stab him in the exact same way he did her. Otherwise, she's stuck in his body forever. Wow. Wow. The thrills, the character development, the gore, the scares, the tension. It all comes together for a fantastic film. I mean, Blumhouse, I often go to watch their films. Uh, the, they're nice. A cheap thrill is for this guy who loves horror more than anything, but... Excuse me, this one deserves to be a classic. What's even better than all stuff I just listed is Catherine Newton. She's been in a lot of TV shows and movies. I hope this takes her career to the next level. But even better than her is the other lead, Vince Vaughn. I'm not joking when I say he gives one of the best performances I've ever seen. He's playing a sociopathic, horrifying murderer and... A sweet but meek teenage girl who is gaining in confidence despite trauma. It's hard to imagine two more different characters, and he nails them both. I don't think there's any chance of him getting an Academy Award nomination like he deserves for this, though. Not just because the Academy is so reluctant to honor comedies or horror movies, let alone horror comedies but because hardly anyone has seen this film. I'm guessing those of you watching also have movie theaters near you closed, and you might not even be lucky enough to have access to a drive-in to watch Freaky. But if not, then pay to stream it. It costs $20 right now, but remember what I said earlier about how it's worth that much? For more thoughts, you can go to my written blog at autisticartcritic.com. Also, follow us on Facebook, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you.